Hi, this is Chris Angelini. I'm the managing editor at Tom's Hardware, and today we're going to talk to you a little bit about Intel's Clarkdale CPUs uh, based on the new 32 nanometer manufacturing technology the company is using in its Westmere generation products. Clarkdale actually consists of two die on a single package. One die you have the 32 nanometer uh, processor, which consists of two cores, hyper threading equipped, so you actually get four uh, logical CPUs when you open up Task Manager in Windows. Uh, it also has four megabytes of shared L3 cache, which is half of what you're already accustomed to with Linfield and Bloomfield, which had eight megs. The second die on that package is manufactured at 45 nanometers and consists of the graphics core, integrated PCI Express, and memory controllers. So we have a redefinition of, of what it means to have an on-die memory controller, because no longer is the memory control in the CPU die, as it was with Linfield and Bloomfield, but it's now on the, the second die, the 45 nanometer graphics, memory, and PCI Express. This is going to result in lower memory bandwidth, but we'll see act, how that actually affects performance when we get to the benchmarks. For now, we know it's dual, dual channel, DDR3, uh, very similar specs to what you would have had in a Linfield-based processor. So in some of the discussions that we've had with Intel representatives, they've indicated that while they no longer call the interface connecting the CPU and the GPU dies uh, QPI. It's actually a very QPI-like connection, uh, so it's high speed. It's what allows the, the graphics to have access to, to high speed memory and the, and the CPU uh, to, to communicate with that over a very quick uh, connection. You still have DMI connecting the whole processor package to the, the platform controller hub down below, but, uh, but we have a sense of QPI still in the package itself. So with P55, we introduced this concept of, uh, of, a, of a chipset that didn't have as much functionality because a lot of integration was going into the processor. This is even more so the case with Clarkdale because now we have the graphics getting integrated into the CPU package itself. Um, those, the graphics is uh, a modified or, or an evolved form of what we had in the GM, the G45 uh, chipsets already from the, the, the Core 2 generation. Uh, except for that we have more display connectivity. It supports dual HDMI output simultaneously. Uh, it runs at higher clock rates because we've gone from 65 nanometer manufacturing to 45 nanometer, freeing up some headroom uh, thermally. And we also have a protected audio video path. You might be looking at Intel stack wondering how you're going to choose an i3, an i5, an i7, or an i7 for LGA 1366. And a lot of it comes down to what applications you run. If you're running some basic productivity apps, uh, an i3 or an i5 might work for you. If you're doing heavy transcoding, if you're doing some of the more demanding workloads like rendering, then one of the, the i5 or the i7s at the top end of the, of the scale might be more suited to what it is that you, you need to do.